Did you know that the Arab currency is one of the highest leading currencies in the world? This is why there are many Arabs who are among the world's billionaires today. Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be looking at the top 10 richest Arabs in the world. But before we begin, kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get tuned. Done? If that's so, now let's begin the countdown. Number 10. Sohail Bhavan – $2.3 billion The 10th richest Arab in the world is Sohail Bhavan. Born in 1938, Bhavan is a well-known Omani billionaire businessman with a net worth of $2.3 billion. Bhavan started as a small-scale trader in Sur with one dough, inherited from his father operating between Oman and India. In 1965, he moved to the capital Muscat and opened a shop in the Matra Souk with his brother South Suhail and South Bowen, initially trading construction equipment and fishing nets. In 1968, he obtained the local license for Seiko and then one for Toyota. The Suhail Bowen Group is now the largest private company in Oman with various business interests including fertilizers, healthcare, construction and automobiles. In 2002, he parted ways with his brother and as a result, the Sohail South Bowen split into two groups. In 2016, Bowen passed much of the responsibility for running the Sohail Bowen Group to Amal Bowen, his sixth child and second oldest daughter. Bowen is married with 50 children and lives in Muscat, Oman. In September 2017, Bowen won the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa Award for Arab League Volunteer Work. Number 9. Hussein Sanjuani 2.4 billion dollars. The ninth richest Arab in the world, Hussein Sanjuani, with a net worth of 2.4 billion dollars, was born in 1953. He is well known as an Emirati billionaire and businessman, founder and chairman of the property development company Demac Properties, and his private investment company, the Deco Group. He obtained a government scholarship and attended medical school in Baghdad. Sajwani is married with four children and lives in Dubai. His son, Ali Sajwani, is an economics graduate from Northeastern University in Boston, USA, and is a general manager of operations at Demac Group. He was named one of the future stars of the Middle East by the Arabian Business Achievement Awards 2017, organized by Arabian Business. His daughter, Amira Sajwani, is a graduate of University College London, UCL, where she specialized in project management for construction and has a master's in finance from the London School of Economics, LSE. She currently serves as the DMAC's Senior Vice President of Operations. Number 8. Najib Mikati, $2.5 million Number 8 richest Arab is Najib Mikati Azmi, who was born on November 24, 1955. With a net worth of $2.5 billion, Najib Mikati is a Lebanese businessman and politician and billionaire who served as Prime Minister of Lebanon from June 13, 2011 to February 15, 2014. From April 2005 to July 2005, he was the Prime Minister of Lebanon in a transitional government. On January 25, 2011, Mikati was appointed to serve as Prime Minister by a majority vote in parliamentary consultations following the fall of the Lebanese government on January 12, 2009. The government was formed in June after many delays. Mikati graduated from the American University of Beirut in 1980 with a Master of Business Administration MBA. He co-founded the telecommunications company Investcom with his brother Taha in 1982. He sold the company in June 2006 to South Africa's MTN Group for $5.5 billion, and he is the 49th richest man in the world. Number 7. Mohamed Mansour, $2.5 billion Mohamed Mansour was born in 1948 in Cairo with a net worth of $2.5 billion. Mansour is an Egyptian businessman and politician. He is the president of the Mansour Group, a $6 billion conglomerate, which is the second largest company in Egypt by revenue. Mohamed Mansour was born into one of the most important business families in Alexandria. Mansour earned a bachelor's degree in engineering from North Carolina State University in 1968 and an MBA from Auburn University in 1971. He also held the position of Minister of Transport in Egypt from 2006 to 2009 when he resigned due to a serious train accident that provoked criticism from the press and within parliament. He was married with two children and lives in Cairo. Number 6. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Hurair, $2.8 billion Abdullah bin Ahmed al Hurair is a businessman and entrepreneur from the United Arab Emirates who has a net worth of $2.8 billion. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Hurair is part of the al Hurair family that formed the al Ghurair Group. Abdullah founded the Mashriq Bank in 1967, which is now one of the leading banks in the United Arab Emirates. Abdullah is the president, founder, and chairman of the bank, and his son, Abdul Aziz, is the CEO. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Ghurair has been listed as the second richest individual in the United Arab Emirates and 
he is the sixth richest Arab. He graduated from Stanford University with an MBA. Abdullah ran Hewlett Packard's Middle East Business Division. He has four brothers who all receive part of the family business. Abdullah and his brother Saf Ahmed decided to split the al Ghurair group into two companies in the 1990s. Number 5. Taha Mikati, $3 billion The fifth richest Arab is Taha Mikati. With a net worth of $3 billion, Mikati was born in 1944 and is well known as the Lebanese Cypriot billionaire businessman brother of fellow billionaire and former Prime Minister Najib Mikati. He is a co-founder of Investment.com, the M1 Group and the Mikati Foundation. He earned a bachelor's degree from the American University of Beirut, Lebanon. In 1979, he founded the Arabian construction company ACC based in Abu Dhabi and one of the largest construction companies in the Middle East. Along with his brother Najib, Taha Mikati founded the Lebanese telecommunications operator Invescom in the 1980s. He is married with three children and lives in Beirut, Lebanon. His son, Azmi Mikati, is the CEO of M1 Group. In July 2018, he purchased Cypriot citizenship. Number 4. Naguib Sawaris $3.2 billion The fourth richest herb is the Egyptian telecommunications magnet. Naguib Sawaris, with a net worth of $3.2 billion, he belongs to a wealthy family of the Coptic minority. Hailing from Upper Egypt and, according to Forbes magazine, has an estimated fortune of $2.6 billion US dollars, which places him as the number 278 in the world. Naguib Sawiris controls Weather Investments, a holding company that in turn owns 50% plus one share of the Egyptian telecommunications operator Orascom Telecom, of which Sawiris is the CEO, and 100% of the Italian wind operator of mobile and fixed telephony and internet access. The Sawiris family directly or indirectly controls 57% of Orascom Telecom. Naguib is the eldest son of Ansi Sawiris, the patriarch of the family. He studied at a German college in Cairo and later at the Zurich Polytechnic. After graduation, he joined the family business Oriscom in 1979. There, he was responsible for the growth of the company in the railway, information technology, and telecommunications sector. In 1997, Oriscom Telecom was created, of which Sawiris was appointed CEO, a position he currently holds. Number 3. Majid al Fatam, $3.6 billion. The third richest herb in the world is Majid al-Fatam, born in 1934 but died on December 17, 2021. He was an Amirati billionaire businessman founder and owner of the Majid al-Fatam Group, an Amirati real estate and commercial conglomerate with projects in Asia and Africa. He had a net worth of $3.6 billion. Majid al-Fatam was the cousin of fellow billionaire Abdullah al-Fatam, head of the al-Fatam Group, from whom he later distanced himself. The Alpha Team Group currently covers 15 international markets and employs more than 33,000 people. Notable properties of this company include the Mall of Emirates, with an indoor sky slope in the Mall of Egypt opened in March 2017. Alpha Team owned the yacht, Quatroil, with a crew of 29 built by Lurson in 2013 for Michael Lee Chin, who sold it in 2014. He got married and lived in Dubai. Alpha Tam died on December 17, 2021. His son Tariq Alpha Tam is currently a member of the board of directors of the Majd Alpha Tam Group and he is taking his dad's wealth to the next level. Number 2. Isab Rabrab, $4.8 billion The second richest Arab on our list with a net worth of $4.8 billion is Assad Rabrab, born on May 27, 1944, in 8 Mahmoud, Wilaya of Tizi Ozu, in Algeria. He is well known as an Algerian businessman founder and CEO of the family group Savital. He is the richest man in Algeria. In 2012, Sawiddle gained international recognition by offering to buy Duox, the French chicken giant. The operation failed, but Isad Rabrab and his group took over Spain's aluminum alas and France's Oxo and Brandt the following year. In 2014, he also bought Brandt, Brandt, Sutter, Vetted and D. Dietrich Brands, and Luigini Steel Mill in Pombino, Italy. The group is also developing today in South America, and in particular in Brazil through various investment projects. In 2016, Sawiddle signed an agreement with the state of Para in Brazil and the company Whale for the construction of a steel complex in the site. Isad Rabra was arrested on April 22, 2019 and sentenced to 18 months in prison for establishing a company of bank and committing customs and tax offenses. After eight months of detention, he was released on January 1, 2020. Isad Rabra has four boys and one girl. Number 1. Nasaf Sawiris $9.2 billion the world's top richest Arab is Nassif Ansi Sawiris, with a net worth estimated at $9.2 billion. Nassif Sawiris was born on January 19, 1961. 
He is well known as an Egyptian billionaire businessman and the youngest of Auntie Sawiri's three sons. His brothers are Naguib and Sameh. Nassif Sawiri's most valuable assets is a nearly 6% stake in sportswear maker Adidas. He acquired a 5% stake in New York-listed Madison Square Garden Sports, which owns the NBA Knicks and NHL Rangers teams. He runs OCI, one of the world's largest nitrogen fertilizer producers with plants in Texas. He is also the CEO for Roscom, a construction company. In 2018, he formed a group called NSWE together with an American businessman, Wes Edens, to acquire 55% of Aston Villa. Sawiris is married to Shireen. They have four children, they live in London and maintain a residence in New York City. Sawiris is a Christian and he has three mansions, one in London, one in New York and one in Cairo. That means the owner of the Arab's largest fortune in the world has nothing of the profile of an extravagant billionaire. So these are the top 10 richest Arabs who are billionaires today. We promise to always keep you updated so you'll have to always check back once in a while to know if there's any new info added. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to smash the bell icon to get notified. See you in the next video. Take care.